Yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy Laser Gaming. Welcome back to another GTA 5 video. Now you guys probably know that Rockstar Games have been rolling out double money and double RP for different contact missions every single day for the past week. However, as of today, the 25th of February, Rockstar offering double money and double RP on every single contact mission. So instead of showing you guys a few different missions, I thought I'd put together the five best missions in my opinion when you take everything into account, the difficulty of the mission, the pay that you receive, and how long it takes you to complete it so hopefully there's at least one method that all of you guys can grind out and earn some insane unlimited money and rp during this promotion most of these methods like i said are extremely easy and they pay very well i even use these methods when it's not double money and double rp as these are my best missions in general just to do whenever i'm playing gta 5 and i need some quick cash so as always if this video helps you in any way shape or form or you're going to enjoy it do me a favor drop a like down below as it shows you guys support the channel also feel free to subscribe as i post daily gta 5 videos without further ado let's get into the video okay so as i briefly touched upon in the intro i'm going to show you guys by far the easiest solo method any of you guys will be able to do straight away and earn some insane cash this method right here will earn you guys over 41k another 5k rp every 15 minutes and then shortly after this method i'm going to show you guys how you earn the biggest payout possible in gta 5 online as of today so the first thing you guys want to do for the solo method is simply be in an online session press start go across the play job go down to rockstar created and you want to launch the mission called cleaning the cat house now i'm not going to lie boys this mission is an extremely good paying mission even when it's not double money and double rp however the best thing about this is it's extremely easy as long as you guys follow the method that i use while playing this mission now there is actually two different methods on how you guys can take this so i'm going to show you guys the first method and by far the best method first and i'll briefly touch upon the other method that you guys can use later on in the video if you guys are like an extremely low rank however as as you boys can see on screen all you guys want to do as soon as you get into the mission is pull up your phone give Meriwether a call and request a helicopter pickup this will only cost you a thousand dollars and what you guys will be earning in the end this is practically pennies towards it however like I said you don't have to call a helicopter there is another method that I'm going to show you guys in a little bit later on so as soon as the helicopter lands simply shoot the pilot toss them at the heli and then simply head over to the location of Anna which is in an abandoned hotel so as you boys can see once you approach Anna at the hotel you'll know that there is actually a shit ton of enemies around her however to simply avoid this all you have to do is do what i do here land the heli on the roof and then anna will come through the roof other side get straight into the heli and that is it boys that is literally the mission complete that is now 41k for going landing a helicopter and delivering somebody this is by far if you guys can find the easier martin mission let me know the mission record it on your phone or your capture card and i will personally send you guys a thousand dollars if you can find me an easier mission for the amount of pay that you guys get like literally i didn't have to shoot one bullet all i had to do was call the heli land the heli pick someone up and drop them off now as i briefly explained yesterday rockstar have changed how mission pay works now it's all time based so the longer you guys spend in a mission the more money you guys will actually receive I did go into this in full detail in yesterday's video however I understand that not all of you guys watch all of my videos so I'll briefly go over it again in this video so as you guys can see on screen now to receive the maximum payout of any mission you guys don't want to spend no longer than 15 minutes in the mission you guys will also receive extra 10% bonus for each play that you have in the mission I'll show you guys more about that later on in the video however I do spend 50 minutes in this mission to receive the max $41,400 and over 5k RP so it's up to you guys whether you want to do it for 15 minutes or you can see here if you do it to six to eight minutes you get 60 percent so it might be a bit better doing it every six minutes completely up to you take it whatever way you guys like to do it but as you boys can see on screen once i deliver rana i receive an insane forty-one thousand four hundred dollars and over 5k rp which is insanely good for a very very basic mission like you guys probably know the los santos connection which i'm going to show you guys in a second or the titan of a job some of these missions require you to use a lot of ammo you got hack laptops you got to take down fucking airplanes with homing launchers so if you take everything into account all the ammo you're wasting in the time and the effort it takes trust me guys this is by far the easiest method that you guys can do either solo 
or with friends. Now, like I did mention earlier on in the video, you are better off getting a full lobby because you get an extra 10% per player in the lobby. And if one of those players are a friend or a crew member, it will also benefit your RP by another 10%. That's why some of you guys get confused when the RP is different for certain players. That's because certain players are playing with their friends and crew members. Now, I did do all of yesterday's methods with three other members. So a lot of you guys were like, will I still get the same payout if I do it for one other guy or two other guys? So I'm just going to prove to you guys that it only 10% per player so instead of doing it with three other players to get the max payout I'm going to get one of the guys to back out in this lobby so we finish it for only three players and you guys will see that we actually get 10% less of what you could receive from this mission however you guys may actually notice on screen that I'm playing this mission now a different way to what I previously showed you where I called in the heli and landed on the roof if you guys don't have a thousand dollars for some reason to call a heli and simply land on the roof all you have to do is get a car and drive it straight into the front wall of the hotel rewind the video and see what I've done if you guys were weren't clocking onto it and simply Anna will run down to the stairs on the left side and jump straight in your car. This mission, like I said, whether you got a Karuma, even you can do it for Zentorno or a Bugatti where they can't shoot you from behind because then you can just reverse into it. It's very easy, very straightforward. However, as you guys can see on screen now, once I pass the mission and I do the 15 minute method, only with two extra players, just being in my lobby got me from 41k up to 48k. So if I would have had another player, a fourth player, we would have easily got that over 50k. So like I'm trying to show you guys is basically whether you have three players, four players or two players, the payouts are always different. However, it's all based around percentages. However, getting straight into the second best method that you guys can grind, you can actually earn over 38k and over 5k RP doing this method solo. However, if you do have one other friend, you can increase up to 44k. So the first thing you guys want to do is obviously press start, go across to online, go down to jobs, rockstar created and start the famous mission blow up 2 guys that have been subscribed to me for a long time will know that I actually covered this mission over a year ago because it was one of the best paying missions for money and RP however you guys that are GTA veterans will know that this mission has been uh, like maybe two or three times however the method that I use playing it right now you guys will see will just earn you guys some insane payout so before you go ahead and actually start the mission you just want to simply set the difficulty to hard so you get that 1.5 extra cash and RP and depending on your confidence maybe just buy a one body armor just so you don't die even though i doubt you guys will die using this method that i use however once you've done that you want to go ahead and launch the mission now once you guys are in the mission you simply just want to go ahead and do the first part it's very self-explanatory very easy straightforward i would suggest using whatever car you have that's the fastest in my case i'm using a bike and simply zing over to the blow up spot now once you guys arrive at the blow up spot as you guys can see on screen you simply want to park your personal vehicle away from all these group of cars and then simply group all of these cars together in one big group so you guys can save as much ammunition as possible so you can blow them all up with one grenade or one sticky bomb so as you boys can see i jump straight in this tornado drive it straight in front of me and i do the same with the rest of the cars like i said you guys are trying to make the most amount of money from doing this method so if you guys can only use one grenade or one explosive to destroy all the vehicles you guys will be saving a couple of thousand dollars it's not massive but every penny counts so you guys will know if you are trying to make legit money however once you guys have grouped all the cars together as you boys can see on screen you want to jump in the yellow banshee now before you blow up any cars you want to mark up this little alleyway on your gps the reason you want to do this is because you want to head straight to this location as soon as you blow all the cars up as you'll be able to evade the police very easily in this spot this is personally one of my favorite spots that i discovered just a few days ago so as you boys can see before you go there you simply want to just jump in the car throw a sticky in between all the cars and then press left on the d-pad and you should blow them up all in one go now even if you don't blow them all up in one go you should only miss one go back and simply deal with it you can use an rp G, depending on whatever guns you guys have in your inventory however you guys want to be ready as soon as you blow the cars up head straight to the point that shows you guys on the gps i will pull it up again because i did kind of skip through that very quickly just to show you guys exactly where this alleyway is however as you guys can see it takes me literally what was that 10 seconds less than 10 seconds to arrive here and if you boys come here straight away you'll notice all you have to do is park up under this little corner right here and then wait for about 40 seconds i believe it is until you lose the police you guys should know it's that the police will just drive straight past you they won't bother looking down this alleyway as it is literally the perfect location for this mission however if you guys aren't aware rockstar basically have changed now how contact missions pay out it's all very much time based you guys can practically earn the same amount of money if you decide to do it for seven minutes or for 15 minutes you do earn a couple of more grand extra if you do it in seven minutes as you're replaying the mission so it might take you slightly longer however i prefer to do the 15 minute 
it weight as it's an afk method it's very easy and you earn practically the same amount so to decide what payout you guys will receive in the end you want to take a note of the time in real life now i'm going to give you an example i started this mission at 7 p.m at night now i'm going to make sure i finish the mission at 7 15 p.m to make sure i get 40k payout and over 5,000 rp now if you guys don't want to wait 15 minutes what you can do is wait seven and a half minutes and you guys will receive 21k cash and over three and a half k rp so you got to think if you guys want to do it twice within 15 minutes you'll be earning just over 43k and over 7k rp however you do have to go through the bother of starting the mission up again so like i said it is really personal preference whether you want to keep replaying it doing it quickly or you can just sit in the mission wait for 15 minutes to pass and you practically get the same amount so it is pure preference another trick i'm going to give you guys is if you do have a friend then you can get him to do this mission with you as it is a two-player mission and just take turns in doing it so one of you guys can just sit in your apartment he does it one go you do it the next go so it's practically an afk method okay so as i did mention i'm going to show you guys quickly the alleyway where i park up in to evade the cops after blowing up all the cars so here's the area where i start the mission as you boys can see my bike is still parked up here this is where you blow up all the cars you simply want to head down this street right here and as soon as you pass the first main turn and you want to turn right down this little alleyway and then simply park up right here very simple very straightforward and it should work for all of you guys straight away so as i did mention once the time passes in the mission you guys simply just want to deliver the yellow banshee over to simeon however you guys will see once you arrive at simeon's and deliver the banshee over to him you will receive an absolutely insane thirty-eight thousand dollars plus 5300 rp which is just extremely good for a very easy and basic mission you guys even saw i ranked up while playing this mission and that rarely happens nowadays however just to quickly show you guys that this isn't a one-off this is an unlimited method you do get the same rp and payout every time you repeat this so as you boys can see on screen now i do end up replaying this mission i changed my outfit just to prove to you guys this is different footage and as you boys will see on screen 38 and a half k plus a nice five and a half k rp now getting straight into the third method okay so you guys will have the option to earn 20 percent extra cash and rp if you guys do have some friends that play gta 5 online you get them in the mission however i'm going to be running through the pure solo method and i will go into more information about how you guys can find some extra players later on in the video however the first thing you guys want to do is be in a free roam session and you want to head out to this location on the map it, everyone's been here before right around the corner from travis trailer near this big lake area so as soon as you arrive at this area anywhere will do within a mile radius you basically want to press start go across to online go down to play job rockstar creative go to missions and start the mission called crank up the volume now once you guys get into the mission you want to set the difficulty at the top to hard so you get that 1.5 extra cash and rp and maybe buy a body armor if you guys aren't 100 confident in your shooting ability however i highly doubt it you'll need it for this mission so once the mission starts you guys will notice that you'll literally spawn about half a mile from the rv because you guys started the mission out in sandy shores this is why it's very important you guys actually launch the mission from this area because you want to basically rob this rv as soon as possible i will also say say when you guys head out to sandy shores in free roam before you launch the mission pull the interaction menu up and select spawn location last location because there is actually a natural spawn location for this mission and it will spawn you back in the city i am going to show you this later on in the video just to prove to you guys that if you don't launch the mission from this area you will have to do a massive drive at the start of the mission and you will have no option to go for the 15 minute method which i am going to show you guys shortly after this video however as you boys can see it literally takes you about a minute to arrive at this bridge right here and then you guys should be approaching the rv now like i mentioned you guys want to spend at least six to eight minutes while doing this mission because that will give you guys 60 percent of the final cut which works out the best on average as you guys don't want to do it too quickly or you don't want to do it too long as you guys want to get the best payout and just keep replaying this mission as much as possible while rockstar are running out this double money and double rp so as you boys can see i'm in no rush to shoot this fan as literally i'm only on my second minute into the mission you want to kill out the driver first obviously because his partner will jump out the van as soon as you kill him now from here you guys can just simply go ahead and collect the rv eat a few snacks put a body armor on why because some guys will come straight away you guys will notice these backup that come in this mission are a joke they literally only come on bikes so and they only come from in front of you as you boys will notice so by doing this method that i'm actually showing you guys you'll notice that you're only less than a mile away from the dz the delivery zone so you'll only see about five or six enemies driving towards you i'm going to pull it up right now on the gps so you boys can see literally here they just start spawning and what i'd suggest doing is just crashing into them because it is double rp for the kills as well so you guys are getting 50 rp 
for every kill. Think about it, if you guys can get 10 kills, that's an extra 500 RP on top of the RP you get in the final mission. So what I'd suggest doing is just trying to run into them as they're driving towards you, or just aim from behind, and as you guys can see, they're extremely easy to take out. There is no cars, they're all on bikes 100%, and if you guys have a few snacks or a body armor, then I doubt they're gonna kill you during this mission. So you guys may notice, I can simply just go ahead now and complete the mission, and I would have done it in three to four minutes. However, that would have only netted me 37.5% of the final cut that you can get from this actual mission, which is good. However, you might as well just wait an extra two minutes. So you want to get it between six minutes and eight minutes in the mission, and you guys will receive the 60% cut from the final pay, which should be a very nice 23k cash and over 4k RP. So if you repeat it twice, six minutes, like I said, that's 46k cash and over 8k RP. So as you boys can see, simply just park up, take a note of the time you start the mission. So if you've got an iPhone or your laptop next to you always just keep a marker of what time you start at however as i did mention at the start of the video i'm also going to show you guys a quick afk method that you guys can use to get 100 payout which is practically near enough the same payout however it does take less work you don't have to launch the mission again however as i did also mention earlier if you don't start the mission in sandy shores as you boys can see me doing on screen now then it will spawn you in the city boys and it will take a bit of a drive to arrive at the rv however i am going to show you guys that eventually the rv will park up somewhere in the map so if you guys are just going to do the 15 minute method then just wait for it to park up simply call up a helicopter you can jump out and go and collect it either way it doesn't make too much of a difference it's just personal preference whatever you guys want to do that suits you best however this is the area the rv will eventually park up if you guys don't start the mission in sandy shores that's why i told you guys to do that at the start of the mission because you guys will see that when it does park up it will be surrounded by about seven or eight enemies for someone like me obviously i don't find that problem to deal with i, I could have just went in there with my karuma but i know a lot of you guys are grinding money or rp might not own a karuma so i just want to show you guys that you can do it on foot it's very simple very easy just go around this door right here and take them out one by one now a tip that i'm going to give you guys that i use whenever i'm approaching enemies like in an area that i've never done before is just to pull up your interaction menu and hold out your body armor or snacks and just be pressing it while you've got your gun because your guy will just naturally put it on or equip the body armor or eat the snack without actually doing the animation because you guys have got your gun in the hand so you can just keep literally refilling your energy until you get in the rv now once you guys get in the rv simply just go ahead and deliver it obviously this is a 15 minute method so you guys just want to park up and wait 15 minutes to pass in the mission and as you boys can see once 15 minutes passes in the mission you receive an absolutely insane 39 thousand dollars over $39,000, let me correct myself, and over 5,300 RP. So all in all, whether you guys use the first method I showed you guys or the second method, you guys will still be making some insane RP and money. Definitely get on your grind and start stacking. With all this double money and RP, a lot of you guys have been commenting, and I also agree with you, that there is possibly a humongous DLC on the way. Who knows, a casino I'm thinking, or a lowriders part two. However, moving straight into the fourth best method, first method I'm going to show you guys as always is going to be in my personal opinion the best solo method that any of you guys can do as far as Lester's missions. This method right here I've never failed doing it and it will earn you guys an insane 38k and over 5100 RP every 15 minutes. So it's an extremely good paying mission and when you take everything else into account how long it takes for you to actually do the mission the easiness it really is probably the best on average. Now shortly after I show you this method I'm going to show you guys how you can increase the payout on the same mission up to 49k so you'll be earning an extra 11k for doing exactly the same mission so make sure you guys watch right until the end if you guys want to get as much information from this as possible and then after i've showed you guys that i'm going to show you guys finally how you can acquire the biggest payout as of today so getting straight into the first and solo method all you guys want to do is be in an online session you're going to press pause go across the online go down to jobs rockstar created and you want to start this mission called crime scene slot now the good thing about this mission is not only that it pays really Really well and it's extremely easy but if you guys can see it opens up at rank 20 so i'm pretty sure the majority of my viewers are over rank 20 so most of you guys are able to launch this straight off the back very easy however if for any reason you guys haven't unlocked this mission yet all you have to do is simply give lester a call keep requesting jobs from him and as long as you guys are over rank 20 he will eventually text you the mission now if for some reason this is also not working for you you might have a mission that you need to complete first to unlock the next set of missions for lester 
So just stay in a free roam session for about 10 to 15 minutes and you should be getting text automatically. That is basically a mission that you guys need to complete to unlock the next set. Or you guys can always leave a comment and say need mission and then the player can just add you, invite you into the lobby and as soon as you play it with that player, you will then have it unlocked so you can launch it anytime. Now as you guys can see, once you get in the session, I'd suggest just calling up a Karuma straight away. It's by far the easiest method. I'm going to go over another method and how you guys can do this as well if you don't own a Karuma. But I have been preaching to you guys now for months to get a Karuma and I'm pretty sure a load of you, or well, the majority of you, already own a Karuma. So go ahead, call that and then simply head over to the crime scene. Now as you guys can see on screen now, once you arrive at the crime scene, you don't want to rush this part. You basically want to take your time. You want to kill about, I'd say, 8 to 10 enemies and then you want to drive into the van and then have your interaction menu open. You either want to be hovering over body armors or snacks. So then when you jump straight out of the car, you want to be spamming down the body armor or the snacks. Try and park right next to the cash so as soon as you press Y to get out of the car, you can press Y or triangle to get straight back in as you boys can see. I jumped out, collected the cash and even though I was getting shot because I was hovering over my body armor spamming it, literally it was like a mini god mode glitch. None of these guys were affecting me with any bullets. So as soon as you guys have grabbed the cash, you simply just want to go ahead and lose the cops. Now I've got a very easy method on how you guys can lose the cops. You simply would want to take a left. You want to head down to this area here down the drain. You guys have know where this is. You don't want to take this first left down here where I'm parking here because the police will come and they will spot you. I've seen a load of guys going to that spot. So you want to back out and you actually want to drive, I'd say about two minutes further down and you guys will notice that there's another turning. However, this turning is 100% avoidable by the cops. So you guys can simply drive down there and it'll take you straight onto the train tracks. Now here it is, as you guys can see. I will pull it up on the GPS just to show you guys exactly where this is. So simply stay here for about 30 seconds to a minute and you guys will notice as soon as you lose the cops, that is basically the mission done. All you have to do now is drive over to Leicester's warehouse. Now, as I explained in my previous videos, every single contact mission within GTA 5 now is all time based. So as you guys can see on screen now, to get the maximum payout from any mission, you don't want to spend no more than 15 minutes in the mission. I spent 15 minutes in this mission just to show you guys the maximum so solo payout you can get so you guys can basically work it off that amount if you used to do it for like six minutes and get 60 percent like i'm saying 15 minutes is 100 percent so if you do the quick maths six minutes is 60 percent you're doing less time and you're getting slightly more so on average if you keep doing it every six minutes you'll probably end up earning 1.5 more than you would by just sitting afk in the mission so it's completely up to you guys what you prefer to keep spamming the mission out keep replaying it or just to sit in the mission if you guys are on your computer or on your laptop just chilling you can still do this method and just wait 15 minutes so as you boys can see on screen now once i go ahead and complete the mission solo i get an insane 38k plus over 5100 rp for a solo method that is extremely easy you guys will be able to I even rank up during this like i'm saying boys i have ranking up crazy i'm loving the fact that you get so much rp with these missions as well however as i did explain to start of the video if you guys want to fill out the lobby with just three other players you do the exact same method that i just showed you and instead of getting 38k you guys will get 49 Okay, so you're earning an extra 11 grand by just having players in your mission. They don't have to stay alive, they can die, they can do whatever they want to do. So I'm going to quickly fast forward just to show you guys that I do exactly as I've done the last mission. I head over to the crime scene as you boys can see, pull up my interaction menu, hover over body armor, just spam it down as I jump out to collect the cash. Simply jump down here, onto down the drain, park up in this little area, lose the cops and that is the mission done. We have now earned 49k from basically doing the same method I done solo. So it's completely up to you guys. I know a lot of you guys do like a solo method because you don't like to rely on other people. However, as you boys can see, to get an extra 11K plus an extra 400 RP, you might as well just spam out invites or find some players down low in the comment section. Now, as I promised you, that is the best method in my opinion when you take everything into consideration, the time it takes to do it, the difficulty and the pay that you finally get. Now, before I get into the fifth and final method, if you guys are still watching to this point in the video, all I ask is if you guys can drop a like down below as it shows you guys do support the channel. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do as I do post the best daily GTA 5 videos. So as mentioned in the intro, I'm gonna show you guys first an extremely easy solo method that will earn you guys an insane $44,400 and over 5,000 RP every 15 minutes. And shortly after I show you guys the solo method, I'm gonna show you guys how you can actually earn the 
the biggest payout as of today on GTA 5 Online, which will net you guys an insane $57,720 and over 5,000 RP every 15 minutes. So make sure you guys watch to the end if you guys want to find out how you can earn the biggest payout during this double money and RP. Okay, so getting straight into the solo method, you guys just want to be in a free roam session. You want to go across the online, go down to missions, go to Rockstar Created and start the mission called Diamonds Are For Trevor. Now, once you guys find the mission, you simply want to go ahead and start it up. Now, once you guys arrive at this menu, you want to set the difficulty to hard so you get that 1.5 extra cash and RP and buy a body armor as the body armor is on sale. So you guys are saving some money while buying that. And there is a bit of shooting in this video. So going on my personal experience, I've never died to doing this solo method. However, I'm not sure how you guys play GTA 5, what your skill level is. So that's why I'd suggest buying a body armor just to be on the safe side. However, once you guys get in the mission, I would suggest maybe go into this little um, location in Sandy Shores before you launch the mission, just so you guys spawn here, because it might spawn you guys in your apartment or back in the city, and it could be a big drive. So keep that in mind if you guys are just jumping straight on GTA 5 and you spawn in the city, it's worth getting a helicopter, going over here, and then starting the mission first. Okay, so you guys just basically want to go ahead and do the first part of the mission. Very straightforward, very basic. You just got to drive in through this entrance, take out the front two security guards. There should be about five more enemies on the left and then two more behind the truck. So if you guys are comfortable with your shooting, if you guys even own a Karuma, just do what I do. Just drive straight in there. These guys won't literally hit you with one bullet. However, if you don't have a Karuma, I will show you guys after. You can just get out here and just pick them off one by one. However, you are saving yourself some time if you do own a Karuma. I would definitely suggest buying an armored Karuma if you guys don't own one currently, as I do have a feeling Rockstar might like nerf it or take it out in the future as it is such an OP car, especially for contact missions. You guys know I love to bang out contact missions and with a Karuma, it just makes 50% of the missions so much more easier. However, as you guys can see, it took me like about two minutes to take out everyone there. You wanna jump out of the car, simply go ahead and collect the diamonds and then drive straight over to the pier. Now, whilst I drive over to the pier, I did see a few comments asking me what color my Karuma is. This is actually a custom rare crew paint job. So if you guys do want to get this color on your Karuma or any other car, I will leave a link to that paint job video down below in the description. It's a very easy and straightforward paint job trick. However, once you guys arrive at the pier, you'll notice it asks you to get in a boat. Now, here is the very important part. I did play this mission with some randoms after and I noticed I sat back and I saw this is the part where a lot of people seem to die on. However, all you guys want to do is simply jump in the boat as I do on screen and then jump straight out the boat by doing so you basically trigger the enemies to now come towards you now if you guys just get in the boat and you just drive it straight towards the enemies these guys probably will kill you and they will shoot you on sight as there is two boats that come and a heli so what I'd suggest doing is like I said get in the boat get straight out the boat if you guys have got any launcher minigun RPG noob tube or even an assault rifle or even a sniper as you boys can see the heli is approaching now then simply take this out before you guys start driving the boat trust me it doesn't matter how good of a player you are if you guys don't pull off this tactic then the more like as you guys can see i missed my first shot and the heli already hit me with a few bullets now these boats that come in as backup is completely up to you whether you want to take them out because all you have to do is drive for about 30 seconds forward and then they will stop spawning. As you boys can see, I decided to turn back and take them out. However, I did nearly fail because I did forget because I don't drive boats that often that if you're hitting some speed in a boat and you press Y, your character won't stop. He will literally just jump straight out the boat. So just take your time with this part. I wouldn't even suggest wasting launcher bullets for the boat guys. It's simply pull out an SMG and if you guys have got auto lock on, it would take you literally a few bullets to kill them very easy very straightforward however as you boys can see once i drive a little bit on no more boats seem to spawn and follow you if you guys do want to get some extra rp then you can just slow up and you literally will be waiting a few minutes for these guys to catch you up they are the dopiest enemies known to man on gta 5 however all you guys have to do is deliver the boat as i said and the mission is completed so as you boys can see on screen now once i deliver the boat and complete the mission i receive an insane forty-four thousand four hundred dollars and over 5,000 RP. Now this is the max payout you guys are going to get solo. Now to get 100% of the payout, you guys will have to spend 15 minutes real life time in the mission. Here's a graph that I put together for you guys to break down exactly how much percent of the final cut you get depending on what time you spend in the mission. 
So as you boys can see, there's no point spending no longer than 15 minutes. As soon as you guys hit the 15 minute mark, you will receive 100% pay. Six to eight minutes, you get 60%. Eight to 10 minutes, 70% and so on. So hopefully you guys will appreciate me showing you that graph so you guys can come back to this video later on the day, tomorrow, whenever, just in case you guys forget how much you are gonna receive for the time that you spend in the mission. Now, shortly after recording the solo method, as I explained to you guys in my previous videos, the best thing to do for contact missions is either to do it with friends or with a crew now if you guys don't have that many friends that play gta 5 feel free to come and join my brand new gta 5 crew we are nearly at maximum members we're about 50 members off in literally only a week we've gained a thousand members which is insane you guys are grinding money i'm looking at the leaderboards collecting insane rp so just simply leave a comment down below of what console you play on someone will get back to you or you can just join my brand new gta 5 crew however as you boys can see my crew always up for grinding money joined me straight away we got four players and as you guys can see if you do end up filling the lobby out with players this mission actually turns into a walk in the park so as you boys can see i jumped out the car and collected the diamonds while there was enemies still around me because like i said if you guys are confident in your shooting ability there's no more than 10 enemies protecting these um, diamonds so like before simply drive down to the pier jump out of the car jump into the boat however you guys should have a friend with you this time so just getting one with a mic so you guys can just tell him stand in the back with the home in launcher these guys already knew the deal jumped in the boat i hold on had to wait for the last guy <laughs> who nearly landed in the boat with that jump however you guys just want to go ahead and do as i showed before take out the heli and you ain't even got to wait for the boats like i said if there's four of you guys in this drive straight into the boats and you guys should be able to take them out legitly now as i did explain in previous videos by having a full lobby complete the mission you guys are receiving 30 percent more rp in cash which as you boys will see right now is an insane fifty-seven thousand seven hundred and twenty dollars plus 5320 rp now that chart that i showed you guys a few minutes ago that works out the percentages that you guys will receive at the final pay it does apply for this when you guys have a full lobby as well so keep that in mind this is the 15 minutes this is the max payout that you guys can receive right now in gta 5 online so hopefully you guys will appreciate me taking a bit more extra time just to show you guys the best paying mission the solo method plus the biggest payout that you guys can receive on gta 5 as of right now today so all i ask is you guys drop a like down below feel free to subscribe if you haven't already i've been your host laser gaming can you guys see this motherfucker changing skins in front of me <laughs> that is a video coming soon when i'm messing around in some infected lobbies on gta 5 stay tuned for those videos guys i've been your host laser gaming thanks a lot for watching and i'll see you soon